everyone. Sarah here from the Paper Cut. We are going to be doing our um, acetate photo cards. So I'm going to talk about the acetate, and but we're going to go down to the table right away just so I can show you products and stuff so I'm not so close up with my face. So let's go down to the table. These are the four cards that we're going to be making, um, but I am going to yabber for just a little bit. They gave me a little bit more time today so I can just talk about some products. Um, we do have three different types of acetate and I will talk about which ones I used during the, um, in the cards. Um, so we have our regular acetate. Now this is the acetate that we've had for a while. This is laser only. So you can use a heat tool on it, but if you do use a heat tool, if you hold it right on it for too long, it will go and shrivel up. So you just wanna use a heat tool lightly on it. This is also the acetate that I use for our shaker cards or our magic cards. So our new acetates now are our inkjet acetate and our adhesive backed inkjet acetates. So these you wanna use both on your inkjet printer and um, you don't wanna use heat on these because these are not heatable and these are a little bit more pricey than the regular acetate. So I wouldn't use these in a shaker card either. It's just not worth it. So now some people always ask me, um, how do I know what type of printer I have? So a laser, so I'm just gonna go through that really quick. An inkjet printer will use these little cartridges. Now I have an Epsom, um, but they're the little cartridges that have the actual liquid ink in them, okay? The laser printer, now they might be smaller for your at home one, but the laser printer is this bigger cartridge that actually has the, um, the dry toner in it. So that's how you know the difference. If you're not sure what type of printer you have, the laser printer uses the heat and uses the dry toner. The inkjet printer usually has a little bit littler of a cartridge and it actually has liquid in it. So it sprays the liquid on it. So with our um, inkjet acetates, they are just a little bit rougher on one side than the other. And it's not a lot rougher. Our older inkjet acetate from a different manufacturer, you could definitely feel um, the roughness a lot more and it had a little strip at the top. This one, you can just feel it slightly. So you need to make sure that you're printing on the correct side. And if you're not sure what side your printer prints on, what I normally do before wasting a piece of acetate is I'll take just a white piece of paper and write um, down, or I'll write it bigger. I'll write down on it, just a regular white piece of paper, and I'll put that face down in my printer, and then I can see if it prints on that side, then you know you need to put the rough side down. So it's just very important that you print on the correct side of the acetate. And you wanna print on the side that is just a little bit rougher. Now it will be really easy to tell on your adhesive backed one because it'll kind of have a backing on it. Um, but on just the regular inkjet printable, you kind of just really have to feel it. And the side that is just slightly rougher is the side that you want to print on. Now when I'm printing my photos, the photos that I have in all of these pictures, I did just go to like Google and images and I typed in cardinals and I just searched. Now, when you're using an image, you want to make sure that it does not have um, a copyright on it. Okay, that's very, very, very important. Um, don't use any copyrighted images, but usually if they're on the internet and they're not copyrighted, they're pretty much fair game. Or you can take your own pictures and just save them. So, but I go to Google, I typed in Cardinals um, images, and then I just copied it and pasted it into like a Word document. Now, if it shows up in your Word document really tiny, don't blow it up because it will be pixely. You wanna make sure that that image is big enough. So, I mean, if you take wonderful pictures like that, 
definitely use your own pictures because you should be proud of those and you can um, post or make cards out of them. But if you want to just take some pictures like this morning, I was making wedding cards and I just went and found some wedding pictures and I made a card using this picture. Now, when I set my pictures up, I try to set up as many on a page as I can possibly get because I don't want to waste that. So like with this one, and I tend to use some of our bigger overlays. Um, this one I'll use like a little bit smaller over overlay that's just like a mountain picture and that I'm going to use for a um, graduation picture, like congratulations, yay, I did it. Um, so, but anyways, I used these pictures this morning and I just made this card right here. Um, you can't, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a little bit of glitter behind that. So it is a little bit sparkly. Um, so let's get on to our cards. We're going to start with the cardinal one. So pull that one out first. I'm going to put these other ones aside. The pieces that you'll have in your cardinal one are the acetate. Now this acetate is the laser. I just wanted to use one that I printed with my laser. I tend to, um, I think it makes the picture a little bit more dense. So I don't tend to use my laser a lot, but I just wanted to use one with the laser. So you have your picture, you have your diamond glitter print, you have your words and your die cut piece for our border. And then you have your trifold window card. Now, if you are ever missing pieces, which does occasionally happen, um, just let us know and I will get that out in the mail to you. Okay, so we have our trifold window card and then our large oval overlay. Now we have three different oval overlays. So if you're going to get an oval overlay to go with either our magic card or this trifold window card, you want to make sure that you order the large oval overlay. Now this overlay does fit on the front. It doesn't have a white border around it like that. So it fits just right over and it kind of covers that up. But another way that you can use that overlay is behind. And if you use it behind the window, then you do have a, like a little bit of a matting there. Okay, we are using it over the top. Now, one thing with our trifold window cards, you kind of have to be aware of how the card is folding. So one side folds in and covers up the back of our photo and everything. I did put a little X there just because then I know which side folds in. The other side folds back and then we have a card that just opens like our regular A2 card. But part of our trifold then covers up the back of whatever we have here. So these are really great for um, like photo cards, if you're doing a photo Christmas card and instead of just ordering it and you want to make it a little bit more personalized, we have these in an A2 size, which is what we're using, an A6 size and an A7 size. So you can use a little bit bigger of a photo. So we're going to open up our card. We're going to place it down and you are going to put the bumps up. Okay. One side does fold in a little bit easier and then you can close your card. If you fold the other side in first, sometimes it will buckle and not all the time, but occasionally if you fold one side in and then you fold the other side and it tends to buckle a little bit, then you just need to fold it the other way. So you're going to put it in front of you. If you want to go ahead and mark the side that's going to cover up the back of your photos, um, then you'll know when we get to that step that that's the correct side that you're going to fold in. So we have our middle panel. This is our inside panel that you'll write on. And this panel right here is going to fold over to cover up the back of our photo and then make our two panel card. So if you want to go ahead and put a little X there so you know how it's going to fold when we get that far. You're going to take your picture and 
it's really hard to tell what side I've printed on, and it doesn't really matter. But you just decide which way you want your cardinal facing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put tape just around our window. So I'm just going to put tape around here. And I'm not using a Sharpie because oh, I could use a Sharpie. But go ahead and use your double-sided adhesive. Put tape around your window. And it can be close to your window because you're going to cover it up anyways. Just do not have it run to the inside of your window because otherwise it will show up on the front of your acetate. Then you're going to take your cardinal picture. Again, this is the inside of our card. So we just want to make sure that we have our cardinal facing. Oh, we have a question. Can you stamp on the rough side of the inkjet acetate and can you color on the back of the inkjet acetate? Um, you can call, I honestly, I have not tried stamping on the inkjet acetate. So I might have to do that and then I will let you know. I'm sure you can color on it. If you're coloring on your acetate, you always wanna color, um, usually color on the opposite side of what you stamp, especially if you're using a stays on ink pad and um, alcohol markers, because if you stamp and color on the same side, it will blend it together. So always do it on opposite sides. Um, and I will try that and get back to you because honestly, I have not tried that yet. I've just kind of been playing around with printing on it. So we're gonna go back to our Cardinal and I did put tape around our window, but yep, keep the questions coming because we have a little bit extra time today so I can answer those. And we're just gonna attach that. Now make sure your acetate doesn't run over your scores, okay, because then it will buckle. Now we're gonna take our glitter paper, and again, we're gonna put adhesive on our acetate, and we're just gonna attach that. So I could have cut my glitter paper bigger. I didn't think about it when I was cutting it. I was just trying to be a little bit frugal with it. Um, so go ahead and put your adhesive, you know, again, close to your window. and you're gonna to wanna to lay your glitter side down, okay? This is the inside of the card, so if we lay our glitter side up, then on the other side, it'll just be white. So we wanna make sure to lay our glitter side face down and you're covering up your window. Okay, then you can go ahead and put tape either on the inside here or if you put an X on one of your panels, go ahead and put tape around that panel. And then that panel is just gonna fold in and that will make our A2 fold over card. If you did not put an X there, I recommend just fold before you put your tape, fold it in to make sure you're folding the right way but I went ahead and I had my X on the one side that I knew was gonna fold in and I put tape on that side and then I fold it in. So that covers up all that ugliness right there. I fold that in and then we have our A2 fold over card. We're just gonna take our overlay, put tape on the back of it and attach that to the front of our card. Oh, actually, before you do that, hang on, hold the phone, people. Um, we have our border strip. You do just wanna cut that. And I usually follow the edge, otherwise it is four inches. So if you already did attach it, never fear, just cut it down to four inches. But I put tape on the back of my overlay and I'm attaching that, centering it. Now sometimes it's easier when you have a card that's kind of popping up is to lay it flat. I do have some blue on the back of there, um, but that's back of my card. Just attach that to the front of your card. Um, pop out your little circles here, attach that, and then I did use foam tape for my especially for you. So again, this was our 
this was our um, laser printable acetate. Um, now, if you are doing a window, oh, another question. Are you selling just the cardinals or the winter scene in the kits by themselves? Um, I do not have the cardinals for sale. I was thinking maybe I should, so I might be doing that where I print my own images, but I don't have that ready to go yet. But email, go ahead and email me, because I've done that for some people where I, you know, send them just the images if they want that. So go ahead and email me. That'll remind me to get those posted on our website after I figure pricing for it. So... Right now, I just have the printable acetate that you're going to print on your own. But yes, I was thinking about going with some more printables or pre-printed things. So go ahead and attach your border. Now, this is one of our border dies. I'm also not opposed to sending you the image either. So our border die and then I did use a little bit of foam tape to pop up my um, especially for you which I'm not going to use a whole bunch because I forgot to refill my foam tape here and I do need it later for another card so a really easy acetate card but with the glitter it just looks really pretty now the people that have the kit can see how pretty the glitter is it's really hard with the um, camera to see how pretty the glitter is behind there. Question. Can you print it on an inkjet printer or only a laser printer? This acetate, our regular acetate, is specifically just laser. We do have inkjet and you want to make sure that you get the inkjet printable acetate. So there's adhesive backed inkjet or regular inkjet, um, which we're going to be using both of those on our next two cards. So we're just going to set that aside. Now we'll go on to, um, let's go on to this one, which is the season's greetings. Now this one, I did do some um, alcohol ink glitter spattering on there. So if you want to do that and you're not ready for that today, just kind of set that one aside but I am going to do that really quick on mine just to demo what I did right there. So I did take um, my silver mixative, which is this, and this is not necessary. So if you want to do this um, or you don't want to do this, that's fine. You don't have to. <clears throat> and I just take a, well, this is a brush that I've been using a lot. So I just kind of dip that in, and then I just take a um, block, and I just kind of spatter it. So yeah, if you're not ready for this today, and you do want to do it, and I did it more dense up at the top, and then less at the bottom. But if you want to do it, just kind of set this one aside. Or your other option is to put your whole card together and then mask off your inside and your outside. So you can do that also. Um, but with the silver mixative, it does dry rather fast. So I'm just going to set that aside. Now this picture, I did use the, um, this one, I did use the inkjet printable acetate. So you can feel just slightly, it's a very slight, so it's very slight difference in between the um, coated side and the uncoated side, which is one thing that I don't really like about this one, as opposed to our one that we had years ago, but there's not many options out there. So in order to bring the inkjet printable acetate back, I did go with this one. So it is just a very slight feeling of the coated side. So in your package, they'll all be facing the same direction. Um, so you don't have to worry about feeling each one if you're printing all five sheets at the same time. Anyways, so we have our overlay. And it doesn't matter whether you put the printed side up or down. So depending on maybe which side you want, we're going to put tape on the back of our overlay.
Oh, question. So the smooth side up. Um, when you're putting it in your on your project, it doesn't really matter. I did do the smooth side up, correct. So on mine, I do, wait, hang on, hang on a second. Actually on mine, I have the printed side up. If you have your trees, your bigger tree right here, if you have that on your left, left side, then you have the rough side is up. So, but if you want, you can switch it. If you want your trees backwards, you can switch it. So it's, it's totally up to you. And it might make a difference if you have words on there. Now, when you're putting the glitter paper behind it, images that have more white space in them, then the white glitter will show up really pretty in that white space. So I did specifically pick some images that have more white space in them. And you can see the difference between these two images. This one I printed at my, on my home printer. This one I printed on a, a one at my work, which is an Epsom. So your printers and how much ink you have will make a difference as far as how dense it is or how bright it is. So anyways, place your image, you know, however you want it. And then you can either kind of tap down to pick up your image or you can turn it over, have your adhesive on the back and then place your image in the window. But if you need to see it from the front to see how you want it centered, you can definitely just kind of tap it to kind of pick it up. So, and then my other pieces in this kit are our A2 scored card. Let me get this white piece off of here. Our A2 scored card, our silver, um, silver mirror card, and again, our glitter paper. So I am gonna just turn this over, make sure I'm dry. Turn this over, I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back, again, around my window. Make sure not to get it too too far in because if I put a big tape line in the middle of here you're gonna see that and then I'm just gonna attach my glitter paper behind my window okay so you can see in the white space your glitter really comes through in your white space now I'm gonna attach that to my silver mirror card so again adhesive on the back. I tend to put my adhesive on the back of everything and then center it on there on your silver mirror card and then you're going to put that on your A2 scored card. Now, with the next piece, you do need your scissors. And where did it go? Oh, my season's greetings. Okay, this is a die from Impression Obsession, so I don't have this die. And you are gonna cut in. You can see that the die cuts a straight line right there, so you're gonna cut straight in to kind of meet that line. And that kind of releases your die cut and you're going to do that on the other side also so that releases your die cut words from there you're going to poke out your e's and your r's and everything else And again, if it's not die cut all the way through, let me know. But occasionally when you're using mirror card, if it's not die cut all the way through, if you just kind of lightly peel it, just the backing of the paper will come off. Um, and that's okay. Because with the mirror card, it actually is a piece of paper um, on the mirror. So sometimes you have to work at it a little bit more than others. And then I did use foam tape, but because I forgot to um, restock my foam tape, I'm not gonna use foam tape on this one. And you're gonna want to trim your, depending on where it is um, centered, 
you're going to want to trim either on one or both ends. But I did pop that one up with a little bit of foam tape. So there's our season's greetings card. And that one was with the inkjet printable acetate. And you could feel it was just a little bit rougher on one side than the other. So now we have 10 minutes left. Moving on. Um, we'll move on to our beach card, which is our um, mini slimline card. So we now have these on our website. You have your mini slimline card, um, your piece of <clears throat> Lagoon Star Dream, our piece of Bronze Star Dream, our glitter paper. And now this one is the inkjet adhesive backed. So you're going to peel the backing off. So that reveals the acetate. You're going to attach that onto your glitter paper. It's really nice having the adhesive backed um, because the other way that you can attach it, like we used in this card and our overlay card, it, we sandwiched it between an overlay. On this specific one, we're not sandwiching at all. So the other way for you to get it attached to your glitter paper is you can take spray glue, like if it wasn't adhesive backed, you can take spray glue and spray the back of your acetate, but only if your spray glue sprays fairly evenly. Or you can use the sticker machines and put um, adhesive on the back of your acetate. But the adhesive backed acetate makes it super easy because we just peeled that off, stuck it to our glitter paper. Again, I have my white space there in which the glitter is really coming through there. So now we're going to take a trimmer and we're going to trim that to two and a half by five, which I believe is slightly smaller than your image. So just trim it like close to one edge and then you can start measuring from there. Have a fairly sharp personal paper trimmer. And you can always go smaller if you want. So two and a half. Yep, it's close to the edge of the image. Two and a half by five. If you want to see more of your brown, which is the bronze, you can trim it a little bit smaller. So that is going to attach to the back of there. And again, if you want to see more brown on there, trim it a little bit smaller. But now I can just go ahead and put tape on it and attach it to my bronze star dream. And sometimes when I trim, if I have a trimmer that's not as sharp, I just kind of take my fingernail and just edge it right along the edge. That'll push any of your if you have any little jig jaggy edges or with die cutting, sometimes you end up with an edge that isn't as crisp as you want it. And I do just kind of take my fingernail or you could take the edge of a scissors too and just kind of go like that. Um, and that will take off any jig jagginess. We're just gonna attach that onto there. We're attaching our lagoon layer onto our mini slimline card. Now this is our fossil mini slimline card, which those are new on our website. And we do have the craft envelopes. Now the craft envelopes are slightly different in shade, um, just because that's what was available for the mini slimlines. But they still look really nice. So I'm attaching that. I'm attaching this piece. Now I did attach them just flat. I did not use any foam tape just because then I could attach my word smile. And your smile has a double layer to it. So there are two smiles in your kit. So you can double layer those die cuts. Again, poke out your pieces. And then I'm going to use, you can use adhesive just like a glue or a um, dot roller if you want to attach these. But I am going to use our new micro dot adhesive sheet. So if you participated last week, you still might have some of that left. 
So again, these are new on our website, the micro dot adhesive sheet. And I'm just pulling back. And I'm just going to set that in there, give it a quick rub. Then I'm going to pick up my smile, which now has adhesive on the back of it. And I'm going to line those up. I really like adding a little bit dimension of dimension to my um, die cut words by stacking them on top of each other. Um, and I would do three, but it's really hard to cut hundreds of them to put three of them in kits, so I just did two. And again, I'm going to use my micro dot adhesive sheet, give it a little rub, then I'll pick that up. And then I can stick that right to the front of my card. Now in um, one of your other kits, in the other beach kit, there are some pearls and you can use the pearl to dot your eye for the smile. So how easy was that? So now let's go on because I think we're getting close to time. Okay, we've got about 10 minutes left. So let's go on to our other beach card. Um, so this one, let's go through the pieces that you should have. You should have your printed, now this is again using our adhesive backed acetate, our glitter paper, our desert sand Miri Sparkle, your pre-stamped thinking of you. You do have some little pearls in there which you need to cut between these um, to at least release one of them for your smile. The other ones I put on right in a row. <clears throat> and then our scallop rectangle frame. This is one of our dies from our scallop rectangle frame die set. We have our autumn hay scored card. And then this is the so silk. So you'll feel it. It's a 130 pound cardstock, um, which it kind of feels more like 110, but I think with the process they use to make it, it's called a so silk. It has a really silky feel to it, and you can kind of feel that. This stuff does die cut really nice, too. So let's go and start with our adhesive-backed acetate. Now, this time, your glitter paper is the exact size that you need that fits behind our frame. So you're going to place your adhesive after you peel it off. You're going to place your picture on there positioned right where you want it on the glitter paper. So again, peel off your acetate and place that where you want it on your glitter paper. And don't stick it totally down to your surface because it will stick. So you just kind of want to tap it to pick it up. And some of my stuff must be wet there. And now you're going to trim. So you can take your scissors or your personal paper trimmer, whatever works easiest for you. And this edge is going to get covered up. So I am just going to take my scissors and I'm going to follow the back of my glitter paper to trim it. So I'm just following the back of my glitter paper and I'm just trimming that edge off of there. Now, if you get adhesive on your scissors, like by cutting foam tape, you can always use like nail polish remover or like paint thinner to get that adhesive off of scissors. Just use a cotton ball and be careful and just rub it to get that adhesive off your scissors. So if that ever happens where your scissors get really gummy, which mine do, um, you can use fingernail polish remover or like a paint thinner on a cotton ball to get that off. So now we have our image backed with our glitter paper. And you can see the white sand down there is really pretty with the glitter. Um, this one I do build, so I did use foam tape to attach that, but I did build this one from the bottom up. So I'm going to first attach my layer. To my card. 
sometimes if I would have attached everything onto here, um, because there's foam tape, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So this one I am attaching my um, foam tape last. So this piece you can attach on there. Kind of just set these pieces on there just so that now you can work on placement for the top. Um, so this one I am going to attach my picture on there first and then I'm going to take foam tape on my edges on here and attach it over the top. So I just set these pieces here just so I can see for placement. So I make sure to leave myself enough room. Question. As I'm looking to place an order for the acetate, can I use Miri Sparkle as a background to the photo? You can. Um, the Miri Sparkle, um, well, it has all different colors, but again, the color is going to come out more if you have white space in your photo. So the denser your photo is, like up here where the photo is a little bit darker, you don't see the glitter as pronounced as you do. So you want to keep some lighter colors or white space, and then you'll see that color. And the Miri Sparkle has a bunch of colors. Um, so like flowers would be really pretty with the pink and the purple Miri Sparkles. If you use a flower that's more white, the pink and the purple will come through there. Um, so yeah, whatever color of Miri Sparkle you have is going to come through wherever you have your white space or like your very light tans. So I'm going to attach this piece on there, centered. And then I am going to put foam tape around my frame. And you want to cut your foam tape a little bit smaller so it fits. And again, I'm close to out of foam tape. I would probably be putting more foam tape on here. Um, but I forgot to restock my foam tape. So I'm using a little bit less foam tape. Making sure it's cut thin enough so it doesn't stick out. So take your backing off of your foam tape and then just attach it. So yeah, the, the Miri Sparkles would be really pretty. I'll try to do some samples with that. I did just use the white because the white is our show special today. So with a $50 purchase, you get this 25 pack of Crystal Diamond print postcards um, free with your order. So that is our show special today. Use the word glitter and you get the 25 count pack of um, white glitter paper postcards. So I'm attaching that. So we're getting close on time, so we're just finishing this one up. And again, this one I did pop up with foam tape, but I'm out. And then you want to use three pearls on either side. So I'm not going to finish mine up. I'm going to get to my show special. Um, but it was kind of nice being able to finish all four cards, so I thank Brian and Carol for giving me a little bit more time. So that was really nice. We were able to get through. We weren't rushed. And you should have your four cards. If you did not order this craft along, you can still get it. I do have kits left for the acetate card craft along. So there's the four cards that we did. And our show special is the word glitter and you get this package of the crystal diamond print postcards for free with your $50 purchase and that is good through Tuesday the 17th. So thank you for joining me today. We will get to any questions or if anybody was missing any pieces you just let us know and we will get those out to you. One last thing, our next craft along December 5th is a couple guy cards. So it's these two cards. You can see that they both have the circle. So we are using the um, two inch circle card making die in our craft along and you can order the kit with the die or without because we will actually be doing the die cutting
for this Z Fold card and then also for this bib card. So that is our next December 5th craft along. I do not have it on our website yet. It will be on there later on today. So thank you for joining me. We'll see you then. Have a great day crafting with everyone else. Bye.